What's up YouTube? I'm Jared. You are watching Spinning Wheel and today <clears throat> today I've just got to go get a few things for the BMW as far as um, dye for the interior and basically that's about it. Maybe a couple other things. I'm going to see if I can find a cheaper starter. Um, you guys know that I've been having starter issues with the BMW and um, basically the starter is going bad so I need to fix that but the only way to fix it is to take out a whole bunch of parts from the engine and then obviously I have to get a new starter so <clears throat> I'm going to see if I can find a cheaper starter they're like hundred and thirty bucks for a starter for the BMW and that's a little bit more than I'd like to spend on the car. I know it needs to be done, so if I have to, I will spend the money, but if I can find a cheaper option, I will definitely go that route. So yeah, so I just need to go to uh, AutoZone or Napa or whatever and find some parts, um, see if they've got some things. I also ordered coilovers so that I can get rid of this pretty ridiculous wheel gap. I mean, it's not huge on this side, but I can stick two fingers in there and that's, uh, well, a little bit more than two fingers in there and I'm just not a fan of the wheel gap um, the other side is worse so I mean well I guess it's well right here it's about the same but I need to get the <clears throat> the wheel gap taken care of and uh, so I bought Raceland coilovers for it and I'll be putting those on the car hopefully soon they should get here either tomorrow or Wednesday Racing coilovers are coming for this car, which is really sweet. I'm very excited for this. Hopefully, it'll help out the suspension a lot. I mean, it's really, really soft. Here, let me just... I'm going to set this up real quick and just show you something. I don't know if this is going to stay right here. Just, just watch this movement. I mean... So, and even in the rear, it's pretty bad. So, touring car suspension. I mean, that's, it's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be wallowy and floating over bumps and stuff, but that's not what I want. I want stiff. I want, um, not race car-ish, but I want stiff and I want not as much travel, not as much movement and all that stuff. So anyways, went with race and coilovers. Um, like I said, they'll be here middle of this week hopefully and I'll hopefully be able to put them on on Thursday uh, that's the goal at least so so yeah, anyways let's just go to the parts store and see what we can find filler because I'm actually going to be removing the rear antenna, the radio antenna, and also I believe I'm going to move the rear badge. I'll talk about that one in a little bit, but so I need some body filler. I also need some rust inhibitor because I do have the rust spot around the rear antenna and up on the window, uh, around the windshield. And there's a nice uh, 330, 328 over here. It's really nice. Oh, it's an M3. Never mind. Look at that. That's gorgeous. paint the brake calipers so I'll probably be looking for some um, high heat paint enamel type thing for that not sure what color I'm gonna paint them yet we will debate that at part show probably
rust primer, rust protectant primer for the uh, the rust spots. Went with red for the calipers. We'll see if I like that or not. If not, I can always change it, so it's not hard. And I don't know that I'm actually gonna be able to get to it today because it looks like it start, uh, might rain, so. And then I found some vinyl, <clears throat> vinyl dye, so maybe I can actually get this dash done and then start putting this interior back together a little bit. That leaf blower is loud and annoying. gets old. It really doesn't. Alright, so here's where the original badge goes. Um, on a convertible, they're a lot smaller than they are on coupes or sedans. They're 58 millimeters, I believe. If anybody can make me a 58 millimeter badge that is going to match the black and silver carbon fiber that I've got already, let me show you that real quick. That's what I'm trying to match. There we go, nice see the BMW. Yep, black, silver, carbon fiber. Um, so if somebody can match that for me and make it in 58 millimeters, that would be amazing because you can't find them anywhere. So anyways, what I'm thinking is I want to re, I want to debadge this anyways. So no more 325i on the back. And I was thinking maybe I would just set the logo I can just fill these holes in, get rid of this, and then move the badge over here. That's what I was thinking, or even down here somewhere. So yeah, so I'm just thinking about putting it off, off to the side, either side of the trunk. Um, what are your thoughts on that? So let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll go from there. Okay, so while I was out, I encountered this problem. I, it, You can see on the door panel there have been bolts or the rivets were just like completely destroyed and there's like a bolt sort of holding it in there um, that's the window regulator by the way um anyways I think this one up here came loose because I mean look at this I can like pry it away from the door pretty easily and uh, and now when I move the door or the window it just yeah it does that Did you see that just goes up so um, so yeah that's not good the life of a project car owner really it's what it comes down to is just everything is everything was so poorly taken care of on this car that now I'm just having to fix all their mistakes because they didn't take the time to do it right the first time so so yeah so I'm gonna see if I can fix that up and that's basically it. So yeah, that's it uh, for today. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was kind of maybe a boring video today, uh, but um, such is life. And maybe I'll get a little bit of me working on the door uh, with the window and see if I can fix that, but I'm not sure how much of that I'll actually put in the video. Um, something that's really exciting, I am starting to plan a, cars, a car meet and um, possibly a cruise. Um, it is going to be in mid-Michigan, so if you guys are viewing in Michigan or near Michigan and you want to join, um, check out the Facebook page. I will be posting details there eventually, um, and I'll also let you guys know what's going on here on the channel. So, um, But yeah, there's going to be something going on. I don't know if it's just going to be like a meetup or if it's going to be like a cruise, like a meetup and then a cruise, but um, I definitely want to include you guys in that if you want to make the trip um, to hang out with me and some other people. So. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching again. I know I said that a couple times already, but um, keep it yagging, and I will see you all later.
I've been trying to do the window and it's all unplugged. So of course the window's not gonna work. So let's see how it works. <laughs> 